Good day to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're having a very fantastic day. Owen, thanks for tuning in, my man. Great stuff. All right, so it's the topic suggests, guys. Um, today we're talking about retention and how you can actually keep the customers that you are acquiring so that they can perpetually uh, pay you and you can actually create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. My name is Prosper Tarovinga, by the way. If this is the first time that you're tuning in, thank you so much. And I hope that um, you are ready to start learning how you can earn a lot more money than you are with less struggle. And also you get the recognition and the you know the applause that you deserve within your industry i see chris has just tuned in thank you so much my love for tuning in julianne how's it going over there today we're talking retention today we're talking about how we can actually keep those customers that we are trying so hard to get and so that they can continuously buy from us okay so i was looking at a few statistics as to why do people actually leave a company or leave a brand or leave a person once they've made a purchase from them. And it's been so interesting that um, I went on a blog um, that's called kissmetric.com. They always have statistics for all these things. So if you don't mind, I'm going to read what they wrote for me there. So they say 68% of people leave because they they've been treated badly by the person that is uh, providing a service. And then 14% of those people are just dissatisfied with the product or the service, or it's not as it has been written or as seen on TV or whatever it is. And 9% are actually doing business with the competition, hoping for a better price. And then you have 5% that are just busy looking for alternatives. They just don't, you know, they just don't get satisfied. You can't handle those people. And then apparently 3% of the people move away because they just want something new, shiny object people or something like that. And then 1% is because they're dead. All right. So this 1% actually made me start thinking that, okay, of all the customers that I have, if I'm not continuously being in touch with them or asking how they're doing or what's going on in their life and I don't hear from them, what if they did? All right. So that then prompted me to actually go on a whole mission to figure out, am I really connecting, creating and relating to the people that are paying me money? All right. And I thought that maybe this will be something that is of crucial importance to you and your business and its own survival. And that's the reason why we're talking about, you know, retention and how to actually keep those customers wanting more and more from you, thereby growing your business and actually you earning more money doing less things. Okay. So from all these discoveries that I've been doing, just notice that retention or the act of actually keeping the customers that you already have is actually the lifeblood if you really want to be successful in a long-standing business. Why do you think big companies ask you to sign in a contract? Why do you think uh, companies like Telstra or your telephone provider, why do they want you to be in a two-year contract? That's their idea of retention so that they know that they're providing you with the service for the next two or three years. Okay, why is that? I truly understand that, you know, the psychology that is actually behind, you know, all these consumer behaviors or the emotions that actually lead them to purchase or some of these tendencies need to be a fact that you are actually genuinely connecting with these people and interacting with your customers at multiple levels. All right. There has to be so many touch points for you to figure out, are these people still alive? Are these people still enjoying your product? Are these people still enjoying the service? All right. Because if you're not doing that, somebody else is courting them. Somebody else is putting content out there, lowering your customers so that they can purchase from them. All right. And I want that you have rock solid relationships with your customers. I want that you start earning more while you're actually doing less. 
all right? And by doing less, it's just really, really rekindling or actually just rejuvenating the relationships you already have with your customers so that they buy more from you. I see Brett Stone has just tuned in. Uh, Paula has just tuned in and Brett is saying preach. Thank you so much, my man. Okay, so once you start re rejuvenating the relationships you have with your customers, it actually dramatically increases the likelihood of them being loyal to you. Now, what would it mean if every customer you've dealt with is loyal to your brand, talks about your brand, and is actually helping other customers with your testimonials and giving you a plug wherever they are? What would it mean to your bottom line when people are actually happy about the products that you're talking, that you're selling and they're actually telling other people about it? Would that not decrease your marketing spend? Would that not make it easy for you to be an authority within your industry? Would that not make it easy for you to market yourself and people actually get what you're saying? All right. So I hope um, with what I've come up with and a little known fact is I studied NLP, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming. And most of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about might look like it's all airy fairy, might look like it's stuff that you don't need. But I want to tell you one thing. It costs up to seven more times to get a new customer than it would cost you to retain the one you already have. All right. Just look at this in this own uh, scenario. You might be fighting with your girlfriend, your spouse or your husband, your wife. All right. But if tomorrow is a Friday, I want you to go out and, 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 and maybe try and court somebody new. First of all, they don't know you. Second of all, they don't trust you. They've never heard of you. They don't even like you. It would take you a whole lot longer for you to, you know, lure them into saying, hey, excuse me, you know, can I buy you a drink instead of actually just creating the relationship that's at home. Instead of, you know, talking through with the person that already knows you. Instead of talking through with the person that already has memories with you. Okay, so it would cost you a whole lot more to actually bring in somebody new instead of you just saying, hey, can we talk? All right. So that's why I'm saying retention is the actual lifeblood for you to be successful. Retention is what then makes long standing business. That's why I cringe all the time when I see people saying, oh, I used this method to get customers or oh, I used this method to get customers and now I'm a millionaire or I've made millions. No, millions are made by people coming back to pay and be with you. All right, you need to figure out, is your product really satisfying them? Is your product really making them want to come back for more? What is it that they are finding from me that another person is not providing? And continuously do that. All right, because if you're churning and you're burning with yourselves and, and using all the latest shiny marketing tricks in today's world, you know, you are clearly not going anywhere and you're heading nowhere pretty fast. And we can see that. It's very sad to see people trying this, trying that, trying this, trying that, and not actually maintaining or, or sticking to one thing and actually creating and relating to the people that are paying money for them. All right? So simply, when you start nurturing um, your, your, your customers, you now create sustainable growth. You can go into your pipeline and see that, okay, Prosper owes me 8000 and um, Sally owes me 2000 uh, John owes me 5000 You automatically know how much money you're going to make that month. Instead of you going, oh, I'm going to have to try and get that person. Hopefully, they're going to pay me. All right? So at the end of the day, it now creates sustainable growth. You get peace of mind knowing that next month, my projected income is probably 6000 You know why? Sally is going to pay me. Brett is going to pay me. Joanne is going to pay me. Instead of you going, oh, it's almost August. I don't know what I'm going to do. They want the rent. They're not accepting likes for payments. You know? Do you know what I mean? I've tried that. I've tried bringing to the bank and saying, hey, guys, look, they're watching my videos. Maybe what? Maybe one day they're going to pay me. Please accept this as payment. The bank does not accept likes or shares. They want mula. All right. So for you to actually really get the good money. Tichana, Zoom fun there. Thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. Stop churning and burning with your sales. And I'm going to tell you this, the tricks that I'm using 
and some other really high professionals out there are using to maintain the customers that they already have so that they don't continuously burn the rubber in order to meet their monthly demands and their income that they want, okay? Right, like I have explained before, there's a few things that you really gotta do. First of all, it starts with attracting the right person, all right? It starts with attracting the right customer. Who needs the right product that you're selling? Not just trying to fit in people just because you want to make that quick buck. That's the reason why you get frustrated within your business. That's the reason why at the end of the day, people just look at your stuff and they walk away. Or you're putting out ads out there and it's not connecting. All right. How much are you talking to the people that really want to create a business that's profitable and enjoyable, something that is lasting, not just people that are hooking up with brands or affiliates or maybe MLM or just really trying to make a quick buck. If you run a business that's profitable, if you want a business that's going to transcend you being you today into something of worth something of note, which I know you really, really want to be, then I think the next 30 minutes is what you really want to listen to. All right. With that said, let's actually really dig a little bit deeper. All right. Into the complex mind of your customer. This is where it starts to make sense. All right. You must truly understand why are people purchasing from you? Because you're not special. You're not. And nobody cares. Why? What is it that you're taking people away from? And where are you bringing people to the promised land? That, if you understand, if your business is the vehicle, or if your business is the one that's doing that, they get to know you. They get to trust you. And people do business with those they know, like, and trust. And that's the basis of how brands are made. That's the basis of how personal brands become, you know, you know, the deep eat and and all within the industry. All right. You need to truly find the psychology behind the customer behaviors, the emotions and the tendencies of why they whooped up their credit card to pay and purchase your particular product, your particular program. And after doing that, you need to genuinely connect with them and interact with them at multiple levels so you can actually form rock solid bonds. And like I said, it's easier for you to then resuscitate clients that are already within your periphery other than people that you don't, that they don't quite know you yet. All right. So once clients are loyal to you or once your prospects become very loyal to you, the end result is they become repeat customers. They become your brand ambassadors. They become your advocates. Your budgeting, your marketing spend becomes less. All right. You get in. That's where residual income comes in. Not all this petty stuff. You guys think you're making residual income. That's nothing. We laugh at that stuff. All right. It's when you're actually really crafting and nurturing your your customers and knowing that Sharon is going to pay me in two months and I'm going to get so much from them. All I got to do is continuously create and relate to her so that she feels welcome, so that she feels wanted, so that she feels needed. All right. So if your brand is going to tightly grasp and maintain success, and if that's what you really, really want, don't be a one click wonder. Be in it for winning it. All right. So you really want to customize, you know, how you treat your customers and you definitely want to make sure that whoever you have acquired, you retain. OK, the first thing you really want to do, one thing that is in human nature, which makes people want to stay with you is reciprocity. All right. Reciprocity is the, 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 the fact that you've done so much for some some other people or somebody else that they really want to pay you back. And the only way they can pay you back in, in today's world is by offering you their credit card. All right. Once you 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 over deliver and once you actually show people you can help them by actually helping them. The only way they can do the only next best thing is for you for them to say thank you. That could be either a review or that could be either paying into your bank account or whichever way your product is delivered. All right. So let's probably use um, 
Uh, what do we have these days? You know, social media, these very platform that we're on, maybe this Facebook Live or whatever. That's a prime example. You can't expect people to share your stuff, comment on your stuff, or even like, or even sit through your life if you're not giving value. All right? So what, what would they be sitting there for? Everybody's busy. Right now, I really, really do appreciate. You know what? You could be anywhere else in the world right now, and you could be doing whatever it is for your business, but you're sitting there and you're watching. You know what? Because you're expecting value. And some of you in the future would maybe reciprocate that with either a credit card or maybe sharing this video right now. This, this is the part where you get to share the video so, so that it, it makes sense. So I'm going to say it back again. So, you know, you could reciprocate this by sharing this video, liking the comments, or even pressing the like button. You know why? Because at the end of the day, you're getting value and you're actually being entertained and educated at the same time. All right? So this scenario can now be related back to, you know, the delicate relationships you have with your customers. What are you giving them? What is it that you are giving them for them to actually say, you know what? Prosper is my guy. Chris is my guy. Jack is my guy. You know, every week I receive, you know, people in my inbox are saying, hey, Prosper, can you share my stuff on your wall? W what's in it for me? Why would I want to do that? What, what, what do I gain instead of you just being exposed to an audience that you never had before? You know? You know what I mean? So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, a handful of people, they still need um, to get the firm grasp of reciprocity because you can't give what you don't have. All right. So if you really want to give, make sure you are well equipped within your industry. Know exactly what it is you're serving, who you're serving it to and why they need it. That makes it easy for you to just give, give, give. And the only way people can pay you back is through their credit card, unless they're douchebags. And I know people don't want to be a douchebag. Like if, if you give them, if you do them a favor, it's only natural for them to want to pay you back. It's, it's, it's inevitable, you know, because people don't want to be indebted to you. So in, you do yourself a favor by offering. And the more you offer, people will now feel indebted to you that they really want to share your stuff, share your videos, listen to you, and then leave whatever they're doing so that they can get the value that you're offering. All right? So if you're going to ask somebody for their money, or if you're going to ask them for anything of theirs, their time, their, you know, their influence, should I make sure you're giving them a good reason to want to help you? What's in it for them? You know? You know, it's, it's just like, at the end of the day, what are you doing it for them? And that's exactly how your customers feel when all you're doing is take, 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 without adequately giving them anything back in return. Because, okay, first you, you take their attention. That, that costs a lot of money. There's 2 billion other people that could be watching on Facebook. Second of all, you take their money. Third of all, you take their like, their share, or whatever it is that they've done for you. What are you doing to replenish that? And if you continuously do that, they will go on to somebody else who's giving. You know why? Because there's always somebody who's on the other side saying, hey, grab a sample. So your customer right now is thinking, what's in it for me? Why am I sitting and watching this video for 30 minutes every single day? What am I gaining from it? And that's the reason why I come in and I deliver. You know why? Because I value your attention. You know? So simply receiving a product isn't enough these days for people, guys. There's so much choice available. And thank you so much, Stephen, for sharing this video. Everybody else who hasn't shared, why haven't you? Those are the douchebags I'm talking about, the ones that don't share my stuff. So just share so that I don't put you in the douchebag basket. Share, share this video right now while I'm gathering my thoughts. All right? So it's more like an experience these days, guys. Customers want memorable experiences, and that will then complete the package. If all you're doing is giving people a, a product, ah, guys, just grab my blueprint. You know what? You, 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 you figure it out. Nobody wants this. This is this is this is this is useless.
to somebody if it's not being explained every single day. This is useless if you don't relate to it. And why I'm talking about it today, because we got to create relationships. And I'm establishing my authority with you guys because at least I know a thing or two that's making me a lot more money. And I'm branding myself because you know what? Now you get to know, like, and trust me as a person that I will offer you information. And I'm building a community around my brand and brand loyalty and ambassadors. All right. It's not a matter of me just showing up every single day. All right. So the one thing you really got to realize is if you want to win in this game, first of all, you're competing with guys like me. Now you got to show up. You got to be giving. You got to be abundant. You got to love your customers. You know what? Because they're the ones that are going to be affording you those lifestyles. They're the ones that are going to make you afford that Ferrari. They're the ones that are going to make you afford that holiday. They're the ones that are going to make you afford, you know, you know, the, 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 the lifestyle you want to live. They are giving away part of their earnings and whatever it is that they've, you know, got so that you can have a lifestyle that you want. Who are you? You got to give something. All right. And that's the only way that people would stay. And that's the only way that people would actually want to be a part of what you're creating. Because let me tell you one thing. People would never be, I mean, people would never want to support something they never helped create. People never want to support something they, they never helped create. That's why even in politics, people start campaigning two years in, in, a, in a row. You know, so that they start hearing the message and up until people are feeling that message, people are feeling that message, then they go and vote. You know why? Because they've created their leader. That leader has been listening to them and doing whatever it is that they asked off of them. So don't just expect showing up in my news feed today and expect me to just bend over and give you whatever cash I've been working for the whole of my life. That's exactly where your customers are. What are you giving to them that is of value so that they can actually look at it and say, mm, if I'm getting this for free, then you can imagine what it is that I can get if I paid for it. Can you type in the comments there, what have you given anyone lately within your business? What is it that you say, I've given my customers this? Is it your time? What have you given people lately? All right. So this is the action that I want you to take starting from today. First of all, make people want your stuff. Make people realize who you are. The only way you do that is by abundantly respecting and appreciating people's time, people's money, people's feelings. Because everybody who's behind this screen right now has a family, has blood, has feelings, have hopes, has dreams. And I got to respect that. I have got to respect that. It's not easy to actually have, even if it's two people watching this, I really appreciate. I know it's a whole lot more, but you know what? Because it's your time and I've got to make sure that it's worth your while. So you got to up and abundantly respect and appreciate the value that every person brings to the whole outcome of your business. Because customers are providing you, your brand, an opportunity to exist. All right. Customers are actually giving you an opportunity to buy all the things, to have a luxurious life that you envy and you want. Right now, I'm not lying. My, re my goals actually envy my reality. Things that I thought, oh, those were goals, these were goals, has been so surpassed by my reality. You know why? Because I care. All right. So whenever... Whenever, you know, they supply you with, you know, additional information or anything that your customers are giving you to build up your database, you got to appreciate that because they could be giving that information to somebody else. And those people that are typing in, thank you so much. Um, what, what do we have? Uh, Julianne is giving people confidence. That's pretty good. Shane is giving people free appraisals, knowledge, books, advice, and market updates. Amazing stuff. And um, Snaden. 
Steven is giving people free upgrades to get a better look in front of them. Pretty amazing. And I really, on behalf of the world and everybody else that you're serving, I really appreciate you guys for giving something away so that people can see the value that you're about to offer. Thank you. All right. So if, if people sort of buy from you once, make sure you're rewarding them. You know, either with something that is maybe like a free upgrade, like what Steven is doing, you know, for a limited time. And then just send them maybe a written card, a thank you post or some other, you know, uh, goodies. Anything that's got your brand on there. Surprises like that will make a really big difference. Yeah. And if people have bought from me for a certain amount of time, maybe it's four times or five times, even, you know, make. Invite them to, to your office and, and do a live show with them. Make them feel wanted. Or give them a shout out of their business through social media. The, the, it's, it's really simple. Once you, you are coming from a position of um, you know giving, guys, you would be surprised the amount of stuff that people would throw at you. People are looking for places to belong. And if you give them a platform or an opportunity to actually give out the best side of them, voila. So your, their wallet is coming with that. Their kids, your holidays, your Ferrari. Um, anything that you'd ever think of is within the reach of actually giving. I'll give you a, a strategic and a simple, 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 simple example right now. Right this moment. It's 27 past 2 and I started talking to you 30 minutes ago. All right. What does that mean? These 30 minutes I have given my time to you. All right. And I've provided you with content. I've provided you with a spin to how you can do your work. And Simran, how are you doing? I've given you an opportunity to think about the way you're treating your customers, which will in turn help you to Start, scale, and grow a business, and you would actually earn a lot more money with less struggle. You would also be recognized within your industry, and people would want to buy continuously from you. What does that mean? I've given away that 30 minutes. Now, that 30 minutes, I own it. Does that make sense to you? If I had stayed and sat in my room or in my office, these 30 minutes would not mean anything. You know why? Because I spent it to myself. And I've spent it. I'm never going to go back to it. But this 30 minutes is going to be watched in eternity. This 30 minutes is going to be watched over and over and over from, from somebody who's getting value from it. I gave. All right? So all the stuff that you give, you get to keep. And the stuff that you don't give, it dies with you. So every single day, I'm giving away 30 minutes of my time, which will stay and will transcend me, and this will become my legacy. Imagine how many people are being helped with this 30-minute segment that I'm just giving out for free. All right? I get to keep that. I get to keep and I get to freeze a moment in time every single day of my life. Can you see how important that really is? If you are really building a business and if you've got a heart, this is what is happening right now. This is a moment in history that we're sharing together that I'm giving out. But if I didn't record this, nobody would know. Nobody would even count this 30 minutes. Nobody would even know of my existence. Now, can you imagine what it is that you might be doing for your customers that will then help them to continuously reward you with all that you need in your life? I think this was a really um, fundamental uh, video. Can you please share this while I just uh, think of my closing thoughts? But in, in, in the meantime, if, if you really felt what I'm talking about, can you just please share this? Because... Your mission as a business person is to make people feel special and they will be much more inclined to continuously buy from you. Now that continuity, that continuous, um, you know, um, buying from you, etc., etc., is what actually makes a business. 
You can't make a business with just, you know, one hit wonder type stuff. You got to be in it for being in it. All right. So tomorrow I'm also going to come in with other, um, you know, sort of um, tricks and tips on how you can actually earn more money and um, with less struggle within your business. Because once you are putting out content, once you're actually creating and relating to the people that are actually paying you, business becomes easy. All right. You're no longer whacking moles every single day. You are actually creating and relating to the people that actually care about your stuff and they want to see you win. All right. So at the end of the day, you know, you might take it whichever way you want, but there's no doubt that this psychology of reciprocity plays a huge role in retention. You wouldn't be coming back if I, if what I was spilling was not important. You really want to apply these triggers so that you can truly touch the, the, the minds, the hearts, the souls of your customers. Gone are the days where, you know, you could just um, automate things and not even care. I think you should care enough to actually know exactly what's happening in your customer's life. You know why? Your life and the life, lifespan of your business depends on it. All right. So when this video ends right now, just click subscribe. All right. You know why? Because tomorrow we're going to be coming in and I think I'm going to talk about more on these triggers and stuff that you don't really find in your news feed that you only find on this channel here. I really appreciate you for tuning in today and I really, really, really appreciate you for showing up. And Stephen says you've got a good show, mate. Good on you. Thank you so much. If you say so, I aim to please. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being you. And the you that's about to come out and being the person that's there to actually serve the people that are paying you. You owe them that. All right. Thank you so much.